channel he's saying hi ivy hey. today we are doing something super exciting so we are going to meet one of our instagram friends aren't we little legs equestrian so we have driven nearly three hours to meet them and we've just arrived ivy's gonna have a little ride on one of their ponies gwen aren't you <laughs> like she's gonna be so excited you're gonna groom him you want to groom her don't you and pick her feet out and things and then we're gonna meet Grace, who we followed for nearly two years on Instagram, haven't we? Yeah, so we're gonna take you along with us. And yeah, super exciting day. We'll see you soon. You saying bye? Good morning. Bye. Just a little side note, because we've been keeping a secret and I need to tell you all. So we went to meet the lovely surf grace little legs and gwen from little legs question a couple of weeks ago and i vlogged a little bit of it which i'm gonna put in the next video but what i didn't tell you is that we were actually going to view when to potentially buy and I can confirm today uh, let me just check the date on Friday the 11th of November that we have officially said we will have her and are about to sort a date out to pick her I'm so excited. This isn't going to go live until after Christmas. But yeah, I'm letting you in on the secret. So today is the 11th, yeah we are picking Gwen up on the 23rd, all being well, however we've had the most horrendous weather this week, it hasn't actually snowed but it's been really frosty and we have a lot of back roads here because we're quite rural and the back roads have been absolutely horrendous. We are just starting to slightly panic about the fact that we probably aren't going to be able to get Gwen on the 23rd 
or if we do and then it snows we're not going to get here in time for Christmas so I am just speaking to Sophie now and trying to look at dates I'm potentially getting her earlier which is so exciting but I'm just so so stressed about the weather and getting her here with the trailer I mean the journey there is fine because we haven't got Gwen in the trailer at that point but obviously on the way home we've got about three and a half hours a lot of it is motorway but we just want to obviously keep Gwen, Gwen as safe as possible so I don't actually know what date we're going to get her yet but we'll hopefully get something sorted soon and go from there so hopefully the next time you see me we are on our way hello so we are on a sunday evening it is exactly a week until christmas day and tomorrow we are getting up at 5 a.m to go and collect gwen i feel excited more than anything but super nervous we've got to travel about three and a half hours with the trailer so we've brought the trailer here tonight <clears throat> and Ivy's daddy's just fitted a new camera in it so that we can see Gwen properly because we were just using like a baby, baby monitor before um, which was fine but we just wanted to make sure that we could 100% see her without being worried about losing signal um, obviously because we've got a long drive home so I've got Reese going with me which is Ivy's daddy and then Ivy's granddad as well so we will be up at about half past four in the morning ready to set off aiming to get there for probably around eight um depending on weather and traffic but we'll pick today because well tomorrow um because it's a lot drier fingers crossed and the temperature is going from like minus two to like 13 degrees so all being well everything will run smoothly ivy has been shipped off to her aunties she thinks we're going shopping and I've told her that the trailer's here just so that Daddy can fit a camera ready for next year. We obviously haven't told her anything. She doesn't know anything. Um, yeah, so it's been a bit chaotic here, getting all of that prepped and ready to go. And it's bittersweet because we've got really close with Sophie and Grace, um, who obviously we're buying Gwen from. And I know tomorrow's going to be quite emotional for them. So... I've brought some tissues, I've packed some tissues, ready for them saying bye to Gwen. Um, and I've done Grace a little book with lots of pictures of her and Gwen in, for like a memory book, which I think, hopefully she'll really like. So, yeah, we will see you in the morning. Eek. So it's 5.10 a.m. in the morning. We have got up and are just about to set off to Liverpool to collect Ivy's Christmas present. Wish us luck. The weather looks fine. It's a little bit windy but it's dry so hopefully we'll get there in good time. And yeah, I can't believe the day's finally here. <laughs>
Home sweet home Gwen. All new surroundings and she has been a dream. She's so chilled. She said hi to Pat. She's just munching on her hair like nothing's even happened. So that's obviously a really good sign. Have you got a new friend? Yes. <laughs> you want your food feed, don't you? The day after we picked Gwen up, I am already down at the stables at 20 past six, which never happens. Um, just to check on her, I'm going to muck them both out. We've got uh, a busy day sitting Santa today. I'm trying to keep Ivy as busy as possible so that she doesn't ask to come down here because obviously she's a surprise for Christmas weekend. Um, so I am coming down while she's asleep so she has no idea that I'm here and yeah, so we'll see how she slept. She's only there. <laughs> I'm going to bring her back in a minute, all right? Mission accomplished. I'm back at the stables. We are going to put Patch and Gwen out together in the field for the first time, um, just to see how they get on and how it goes. Obviously, we're just leaving her at the minute just to settle in. We're not doing any work with her. Um, we're just going to let her go out in the field for a couple of hours, stay in the stable and just chill, really. We have had a conversation about potentially letting Ivy see her on Christmas Eve rather than Christmas Day, just so that she gets a bit more time with her. So we'll see about that. Um, I can't sleep, <laughs> stressing about her. Um, she was absolutely fine this morning, but yeah, it's always stressful, I think, when you get a new horse, um, letting them settle in and just making sure that they're happy and chilled. Um, I'm going to try and video them out in the field together for the first time. I don't know how it'll go. This morning, I moved Patch out of the stable while I mucked her out and Gwen was whinnying loads at her, like, I want her back. So hopefully they've formed a little bit of a bond already. I just hope that they're both kind to each other and they work out who's in charge quickly so that there's going to be no argy-bargy. And then, yeah, I was at home with my sister at the minute. Obviously, we're having to keep all of this from her. Although she has just asked me if she can go and see Grace and Gwen next year after Christmas and said that she really can't wait to ride Gwen again. Obviously, she's got no idea that Gwen's here. <laughs> So yeah, super exciting. Um, wishing the week away really so that Ivy can finally meet her. But yeah, good fun, exciting times. What a week.
taking Gwenny for a little walk to show her where she's going to do all her schooling and the other animals that are on the yard because we've got donkeys, cows and chickens. She's taking it all in her stride and seems very chilled. This way Gwenny. And then we're going to give her a little groom. Put her out in the field for an hour. We go back in. Super chilled. Taking it all in her stride, aren't you, Gwen? <laughs> You're quite happy, aren't you? <laughs> you saying hi, Gwen? Oh, and there's the donkeys, look. Super chilled, super not bothered. Alright, donks. This pony is something else. Granny, you gotta come say hi to the donkeys. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Good morning. So today is Friday. It is two days before Christmas and we have been really naughty and decided to give Ivy her surprise today. Only because we've got a really busy Christmas Eve and we're eating out on Christmas Day. So we wanted to be able to go down and enjoy the surprise rather than it being a rush. So we're going to take her down today, which means she gets a couple of days with the surprise. I don't want to say too much because I don't know where she is. Before Christmas. Um, she knows this is a present for Mummy and Daddy. And yeah, so we're up. We're going to Ivy's last swimming lesson of the year. And then I'm going to go down first. Get a few things organised. And then Ivy's daddy's going to bring her down about half past one. For the big reveal. I am so nervous. Like so nervous. I've managed to give myself a chest infection this week and being quite poorly. And to be honest, I think it's been, not the stress, I don't want to say stress because it hasn't been stressful. It's been amazing, but just the worry of it all. Um, and I've been quite anxious about the whole situation because obviously life's going to change now with two and just keeping it from Ivy has been horrendous. Um, so yeah. I'm hoping the next video will be Ivy meeting her. I can't wait. Honestly, I just don't know how she's going to react. Um, but yeah, wish us luck. Ivy, come here. Are you excited? Have you got a new pony? <laughs> Is that a good surprise? 
Hey, that's the best surprise, isn't it? I think someone's a bit I shocked. It's <laughs> yeah. very overwhelming, isn't it? It is me and Daddy went to pick him up on Monday from Grace's house. And we brought all the way back here. And I've been getting up early in the morning and coming and mucking her out before you even wake up. And she's all yours to keep forever. What do you think? Do you love her? <laughs> Is that a good Christmas present or what? Hey? Can you believe she's yours?
here. <laughs> I don't know why you keep asking me if she's still here. I've told you she's yours. What about someone? Someone hurt me tonight and just like that scared me. No one's gonna do that. Has anybody ever done that with Patch? Uh, sometimes she has. I don't think Patch has ever. When you clipped her. She ran away in the back of the stable. Well, yeah, but that was Mummy's fault, wasn't it? Because yeah. I didn't clip her on tight enough. Bye bye. Good morning.